I've got an old mule and her name is Sal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. She's a good old worker and a good old pal. Fifteen years on the Erie Canal. So way over in the corner, kind of hidden, is one of our uh, uh, cutter head suction dredges. I'm not sure which number, nobody seems to know which number that really is. Uh, I know it's not the five, because the five is out. That's down in uh, Barker's Glen area right now. Uh, this section also maintains the Cayuga Seneca Canal and parts of that uh, they sent off of Barker's Glen area down there. So they're down there on the assignment. I think they've got another year left on their ticket down there. But you can see the cutter head laying right in front of the dipper dredge here. Yep. The head on that turns, chews up the bottom, and it works just like a big vacuum cleaner. The onboard pump sucks it in, and there's a booster pump on the back that actually boosts the pressure, and it's pumped out. They used to pump it either into scows or uh, into shallows or whatnot. Now uh, they use specially prepared pits. The soil is untested every few years. Once, it's, once the pit is deemed no longer necessary, if the soil is uh, clean enough to be reused, they'll take it out and reuse it as fill somewhere. Otherwise, they just keep uh, pushing it up. Cover it with clay up. eventually. And... Well, they keep extending the sides up and they continue to use them throughout the years. There's one now currently uh, undergoing maintenance up in Palmyra, right below 29, on the northeast corner up there. And there's one uh, right down behind what used to be Breen's Market, now the uh, uh, Burn Dairy in Palmyra. Then there was one that was built uh, along the canal trail in Palmyra between Church Street and Lock 29 up there. Uh, interesting fact of that is once, right after it was built, and the canal so graciously uh, offered to fill in the Palmyra Swamp. The citizens of Palmyra changed their mind and got it designated a wet, wetlands area so they couldn't touch it. <coughs> so they used the other two uh, slurry pits. Then we got the newer bar, uh, dredge in front. Uh, that's not newer. That dates back to the 19 teens. So that's actually older than the one that's in yep. the back? Yep. 19, 19, 1909, 1910 is when the equipment was built. And it was put aboard a wooden barge in 1911. It was named St. Johnsville. Worked under the employee of a private contractor uh, digging the barge canal down around St. Johnsville, New York. Over the years, it was maintained. Uh, in late 20s or early 30s, the contractor retired, sold it to uh, Canal Corp, and it dug its way up this way, maintaining the canal. It's not native to this area, but it is the last steam-powered dipper dredge remaining. There is one other dredge from that era afloat. It's been all remodeled, uh, now diesel-powered, and it works off, I believe, off the coast of Texas. Is that guy still in use at all? No, that, that's yeah. been out of service since the early 80s. I would assume as much. Uh, there's a third, there was a third one in service from that area. Again, diesel powered, revamped out off the coast of California and that burned uh, about two years ago. So this is the last remaining steam, steam powered dredge. It would be great if they could open that as a museum. It would be. Uh, if you go down to uh, the Ashley White Museum on the point, down in Oswego. Yeah. There is a sister boat to the two way which you can go aboard. They can go down the I love looking seeing the old steam machinery. Yeah. Unfortunately most of the machinery has been stripped, but you know, it's been turned into a floating museum. I would love to see them do something like this here because we have so much history in the dry dock over here. Um, unfortunately it costs a lot of money to maintain everything even just as a historical preservation. Yeah, I know the Urger um, is down in Syracuse. Yeah. Yeah, the Urger is another sad story. Uh, it's sitting on the hard right now, uh, deteriorating. Um, you know, it was refurbished 
in the, I think in the 80s, some, late 70s, early 80s, turned into a teaching tug and it traveled the canal doing uh, building exhibits for basically any group that wanted to come aboard.